I actually have really, really good news. So hi. It's me, Sea Dog. One second, wake up, let me put you guys down here. So for the past two and a half years, I've been working towards something, and we should probably start at the start of the story. So let's go back two and a half years to Noob Sea Dog. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound like a budget Severus Snape on crack. I am quite ill at the moment, and yeah, it's not fun. So picture it, 19-year-old Connor scrolling through his comments. He's just started his YouTube channel, and he sees a comment uh, from someone saying that their sister is suffering from leukemia and that they don't think that she's going to be around much longer. Um and that they were a big fan of mine. So the comment explained that they were the girl's sister and that she was in hospital and that they were going to visit her, I think in, in one or two days and that they wanted to see if I could call her because she was a big fan of my videos and wanted to be in one. And of course, you know, like back then the comments were manageable and back then I saw them all and back then I could easily contact everyone. So, you know, I arranged it, we did it and I called Ali. Hello there. Hello. Hello, my Hello. name is Sebastian. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, I assure you, this is very real. Oh my god. So that final video is about eight minutes long, but the whole call that we had was about an hour. And I remember at the time, it was just so alien to me and so foreign. The fact that this 15-year-old girl was so accepting of her death. And, and it was just crazy to me um, how someone at 15 could completely understand their own mortality and kind of what it meant to others. It, it, it's just, it's mind blowing. And I, I don't really want to think about that. And I still couldn't even fathom half of what she's had to understand and come to terms with. I remember I was editing the video and I was like tearing up like a little baby. Like every time she would just tell me how she was like completely okay with dying. Cause it was just, it was crazy to me. Like I've never had to consider the thought of dying, you know? And Ali, hands down, is one of the most resilient and tenacious people I have ever met. And after that phone call, we were both messaging on Facebook and, and we'd message each other every few days. I'm not going to go into details too much because I think it, there's no need for me to. And I feel like it, it's kind of a private thing. And if she wants to tell people, she can tell people, you know. Um, but yeah, we just kept talking and, you know, it seemed like Ali was pretty stable. And it was up and down in some places. And then a year later, I was like, well, you know. I think if you want to, we should make a video. There was a few reasons I wanted to kind of update people on it. Um, one, Ali was doing better and I wanted people to know because a lot of the comments thought that she was dead. Uh, and two, to give people hope, you know, like it, it's rare you hear stories of people who can kind of like kick through and who can carry on and who can look the odds in the face and say, fuck you. And Ali did all that. And I wanted to kind of empower people to feel like, you know, if you have a family member or someone you love in this situation, it's not, all hope is never lost and you should never give up. So we made the second video. I'm totally not crying. Oh, no, no, don't cry. No, bring it in. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, you can't be getting all emotional. That's my job. <laughs> After I made the second video was when I really, really wanted to meet Ali uh, in person and just spend time with her. Like just hang out with my friend who I'd been speaking to for over a year, because why wouldn't I want to? Every time I thought I was in a shitty situation or I was upset or, or there was something going on in my life, I remembered that Ali was kicking ass even though she had just the most disturbing list of medical issues, just way too many to even think of, leukemia, and, and still, still ha made YouTube videos, still had friends, still try to, you know, go to college. Like, how can you have a friend that you just see fighting that hard and, and literally every day, it, it's a struggle and fighting your ass off. How can you not be inspired? And how can you not want to give it your all as well? And it's so, <laughs> it's so stupid because I wasn't even going through difficult shit compared to her and, and she was kicking ass. And I feel like such an asshole even comparing my situation to hers. And then one day, I really wanted to make this happen. I really wanted to meet Ali. I found her con that she went to. I was like, please let me come over. I want to meet my best friend. I'll also do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> to my surprise, they agreed. So two weeks ago, I flew to Minneapolis and I shot the video that you saw right at the start of this video. And so two weeks ago, I flew to Minnesota. I flew to Minneapolis and I met Ali and Jarvis. Jarvis is amazing too, by the way. <laughs> So on the second day, I told Ali, I was like, listen, 
I want to meet you and I want to just hang out and just talk for a bit. It was a little awkward at first because, I mean, how do you react when you meet like someone from online who you've only ever seen through a screen and through the phone? It's really weird and I wasn't, I don't know how to react. I've never been in this situation before. And I was nervous and, and she was nervous and it was just nice, you know, it, we were just chatting. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be like filled with it, aren't I? Oh, I did not think this through. Oh, I'm covered in it. <laughs> I got lost in the cuteness. <laughs> I don't want to show you guys a lot of it because a lot of it you don't need to see, but I do want to show you a few specific parts. I am 75% on my way to Cured. Oh my god, from leukemia? Yeah. Oh my god. When? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to tell you in person. Okay. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I went from 10% from when we met to yeah. 75%, so. Oh my god. Oh yes, that's so good. Ah! I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> so in two and a half years, my friend Ali went from accepting that she was probably gonna die to now being 75% cured of cancer, which is, <sighs> man, I'm, <laughs> uh... I'm proud of her, man. I'm really proud of her. <laughs> This happens like any time when people ask me about this. I get so emotional. It's like I never cry about anything, but this just gets to me. <laughs> so when I originally planned this video, I planned to make it, you know, about me and Ellie meeting and then how it was going to be amazing and then whatnot. And and it was. Um, but then I kind of realized afterwards, like this, there's no point in me doing this. There's no point in me showing you guys more conversation between me and Ali because um, you guys have seen that before. You know, and we spoke about a lot of things, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just two friends speaking and I feel like making a whole video about that is kind of silly. You guys know that we met, I gave you guys the good news and I'm happy sharing that with you and I'm happy sharing everything that I feel you guys need to know. And so I kind of wanted to make this video to kind of look back on my YouTube experience and how far I've come and, and why I did the things that I did in a kind of serious way because I never really make serious videos because I am a very laid back guy and I like to make people laugh nonstop and that's normally my thing. Any of my close friends will tell you that all I do is crack jokes nonstop because I just love making people happy and, and laugh. It's, it's such an intoxicating feeling to know that like you know you're making your friends laugh and you're making them have a good time and you know it, also knowing when someone is just making you laugh non-stop is just so cathartic to me and, and I love spreading that feeling to other people and you know every week or every two weeks or whatever just letting people come to my channel and just laugh and just forget about what the fuck is going on in their life and, and, and just sit there for 10 minutes and just have a pleasant time. And that's kind of been my YouTube philosophy, if you'll humor me using the word philosophy and my videos in the same sentence. <laughs> so when I first started my YouTube, it was out of sheer boredom and wanting to use my voice talents, if you will, more. Um, and I just randomly decided that Sebastian would be a good choice. I don't know why. Um, I didn't even think it was a good impression at the time, but apparently it was. Um, and little did I realize me making a Sebastian prank call video was gonna pretty much change my life, which sounds so strange to say. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. Like what, what do I, what's worth talking about? What's worth, what's not worth talking about? And then the second video I made, please don't think I'm gonna go through all my videos. I'm not, I'm just, it, it's, it's relevant, I promise. <laughs> so the second video I made was the Sebastian calls fan girls or, or fan calls or whatever. And um. <laughs> yeah, that kind of set in stone for me how I wanted to run my YouTube channel because that feeling of talking to someone who really wanted to meet Sebastian um, and kind of giving them that, although knowing at the time they didn't want to speak to me, they want to speak to the character. Um, it was such a, an amazing feeling being able to just make someone smile by doing something so simple. Um, and I really focused on that for a really long time and made sure my channel was about interaction and putting my audience first. I learned pretty quickly that it has to be a healthy balance um, of the audience and you, because in my start, I was doing just Black Butler videos and that's never what I wanted. But at the time, you know, I was getting views and whatnot and, and it was what my audience wanted. And pretty much ever since my first year, I've been trying to get away from just being a one trick pony, just doing one things. That's why you see a lot of videos with me and my face in them and, and a lot of videos 
kind of revolving around me as a person rather than the characters because I've always wanted it to be a personal experience with me, me and you guys where you can relate to me and I can kind of relate to you and hopefully make some awesome videos for you guys based on my humor. I think the best way to describe how crazy of a situation I'm in, last week I went to Minneapolis to an anime convention to be a guest. And it's currently 3 a.m., I'm really ill, and I have a flight in about six hours to Indiana to go to Indie PopCon, to guest there at a con. So three years ago, I was a Welsh kid living in Swansea, studying engineering, having no clue what the hell I was gonna do with my life, but I loved doing voices and I loved voice acting. To now, three years later, being flown around the world, meeting people and having like the time of my life. Like it's, it's fucking crazy to me and like, I don't know why it gets me emotional. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to thank you guys for like sticking with me. And I know others are, oh, oh my God, I'm a mess. <laughs> and I guess to all those people who comment, who like, who, who share my videos, they tell their friends about me, they get people to watch my videos, they donate to my Patreon, absolutely anything. You are amazing. <laughs> and I know it's gonna seem so insignificant to you like liking a video or commenting as, as it's such a throwaway gesture, but literally every single one of you who, who, who throws in a like, a comment, a share, like it adds up and the constant support and, 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 and watching my videos is what's allowed me to be in the position that I'm in today. And that I am eternally grateful for. So thank you. Thank you. I've had life-changing experiences, just one after the other. I went to Japan to meet my, my really, really good friends who are also YouTubers who I met over the internet. You know, for as happy and crazy as I seem, there are a lot of days where I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to face the world. I don't want to do things, but if it weren't for people like Ali and people like you who constantly, no matter what I'm going through, are willing to just be like, hey, I'm willing to talk to you, Connor. Um, it makes it easy to do what I do. And YouTube is an easy job. It's a hard job, but it's the easiest job. Because at the end of the day, I can make this dumbest thing ever and people will watch it. And, and I, isn't that what life is about? And I have no idea where I'm going with this video. And I'm like really happy that I have viewers who are so respectful and, and so kind to each other. You know, we have the Amino, which is killing it. We have the Discord, which is killing it. And I talk to you guys all the time on Twitter and you guys are so polite and so helpful to one another. And, and the stuff that you guys make, the fan art, the edits, the, the kind emails, the, the letters, and just anything you guys create and anything you guys make and just, like even you guys just being supportive of each other. It's so rewarding as a creator to think that I've brought people together. I'm just really proud of everything that we've been able to achieve together. You know, and I'm really happy with how the, the channel has progressed and I'm really happy that I'm not a one trick pony. Ah, why am I tearing up? <sighs> I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And kind of like on accident, I found exactly what I wanted to do with my life. And I guess I just want to say like one final thank you to you guys, because this has been really amazing. And the past three years have been so amazing. And I'm so much more happier. I'm so much more confident. And I'm so just lucky to get to do this every week for you guys. It's just like, it's fucking amazing. I knew how hard it was being a 16 year old kid who liked anime. And I knew how difficult it was when you felt like no one understood you. And how hard it was going through life not knowing if you were ever gonna be happy. <laughs> and so it's so easy making videos when you understand how it feels. God, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for supporting me, whether I'm Sebastian, Shizuo, Levi, Kyoya, um... I think I'm gonna end it here before I just end up crying for another 10 minutes. I didn't think I was gonna cry when I made this video. <laughs> oh, I'm like the Markiplier meme where he cries. <laughs> I should probably pack now because I'm going to the airport very shortly. You see that? That's my, my hentai clothing, but um...